Suvas Pandey, former Minister of National Security, Attorney at Law. Ministers are setting up the Prime Minister to be arrested. <clears throat> On the issue of finding drugs at the home of the Honourable Prime Minister, on or on about the 12th of April 2013, I wish to state that the Prime Minister has not been implicated in any way in this matter. Everyone is aware about the whereabouts of the Prime Minister at the material time. Since she's not implicated legally, all the questions put to her will be political in nature with the intent to embarrass her, and therefore she has no obligations in answering any questions. The police commissioner <clears throat> has indicated he has launched an investigation into this three-year-old matter. To what purpose? Having regard to the information in the public domain, no one can be charged for any offense of possession of marijuana. It is said it was found in a room near gazebo, and no one was present at the time when the narcotics were found. The police know there's marijuana. So further people come and say it's hemp is really um, trifling. Is the purpose of the investigation to determine the culpability of the police? And in particular, a senior police officer, Hansi Panzian, would put politician on such a serious matter instead of giving instructions to investigate the matter. Next question is, where's the marijuana? I hope it has been lodged with the property keeper and not kept for illegal purposes or to be planted on some innocent person. On the issue of informing Minister Munilal and Mr. Griffith, the advisor to the Prime Minister, there is no issue of any criminal offence as no one has been fingered in the offence of possession of narcotics. However, the finding of drug in the Prime Minister residence has now morphed from a legal issue into a political one which will be tried in the court of public opinion. Mulilal has been found wanting when he said that he could not remember being informed. It is strange that such, on such an important issue in which drugs are found in the Prime Minister's private residence that he cannot, be, he cannot remember being told about it. Who is he fooling? It is clear that he is not speaking the truth and he is misleading the people. The public will never forgive him for such a lie. And this will, cost, this will cause a loss in public confidence in them, and they may pay the ultimate price of it. For sale. Finally, if ministers knew that drugs were found at the premises of the prime minister and did not inform her, it would appear they were setting her up to be arrested, having regard to the law which deals with possession of narcotics. Chapter 11, number 25, section 21.1 states in Tehillia that any person who occupies, controls, or is in possession of any building, vessel, vehicle, aircraft, enclosure, or any place upon which drugs, dangerous drugs is found, shall be deemed to be guilty that is, shall be deemed to be in possession unless that person proves that the dangerous drug was there without his knowledge. So therefore, <coughs> if they did not warn, warn the Prime Minister to be careful with the persons who frequent her home, and that person comes here and drop drugs on her premises, then the Prime Minister, if she's present in the premises, can be arrested according to the law. And that is why I say, if ministers knew of the incidents of drugs being found at the, present re the Prime Minister's residence and did, it, did not inform her, they are really out to have her arrested. Thank you.